Okay, I'm gonna be putting this guy out into the woods. But this is a horn worm that kills tomato plants and um, eats the tomatoes. This is number four or five that I found. And before I learned about them, I thought they were so cute. If you saw my first video, you would know that. And if you haven't, looks like he's looking at me. And if you haven't seen my first video of how cute I thought they were, you should go back and check my channel for that first video. It's labeled something about dinosaur caterpillar or something. Okay, so look at this. It looks like it is a dinosaur tail. And then it's got, it looks like a stinger on the back. He's got his head up. He's got, I hope to see his eyes really good. It's hard to tell. His eyes are there, and it looks like he's got teeth like a walrus or whiskers or something. See those things hanging down in the front? Look at this thing. And in there is his mouth. And he eats with that thing, and I've got a video of him eating. I'll have to post it somehow, too, but... Ugh. I need to learn to get rid of these guys and my video is getting too blurry so I need to let them go. You have a text I haven't message. been killing them. I've been putting them on my one acre land way in the back away from my plants. But I need to figure out how to naturally repel them from my plants. Okay, so if anybody got any tidbits, I know get birds. Feed the birds and they'll eat these because, you know, they have great vision. But... I've also heard that the birds will uh, eat your tomato plants when they're ripe, when it's hot. And I have one of my daughter's tomatoes I was checking out tonight to water, and one of her tomatoes is starting to ripen, and I was so excited until I saw some goo on one of the branches and then saw this guy. So yeah, it's been fun, it's been real, it hasn't been real fun. But yeah, look at this walrus looking thing, dinosaur looking thing. But it's called a horn worm, and they can get quite big. The biggest one I've had so far is three inches. And this is uh, second to the smallest. I just put a kind of a baby one out into the woods, and now I'm gonna have this one join that one so they can have a conversation about what they're gonna do. All right. Thanks for watching.